Ladies and gentlemen, today we got a mystery box from the one and only Ruxin. This box actually came about a week ago, but I just actually were able to pick it up because the post office was closed in the past week. So yeah, if you haven't seen the video yet, I sent him a box of goodies as well. We decided to do this, do this like little Christmas exchange, which I guess since it's past Christmas, I guess that would be my birthday exchange because my birthday is uh, coming up. By the time you're watching this, it should be like either on the day of or it's around the corner. So yeah, let's see what kind of goodies we got. I think I'm gonna do something like this every single year. Make it like a little ongoing tradition, because you know what's fun? Mystery boxes. Um, but you know what's even more fun? When you get it from your friends. So let's see what kind of goodies he got us. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close my eyes. I don't know if he like, packaged it up like how I did, so I'm gonna just reach in one at a time. I'm gonna go through it, so let me just do this. So here we go, first thing we got, we got a uh, deck box. Ooh, we got a Venusaur deck box. We got a Venus. Ooh, we got the classic Venusaur art deck box actually, which is nice. It's funny, actually, I have so many deck boxes around my desk, but you know what? If I can replace it with these, it's gonna be even better. That's kind of dope. I'm gonna put you over here in the background. Let's go reach to the next one. Let's see what kind of goodies we got. Looks like we got another deck box. We got Blastos. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that they're all basically the same. So there should be a Charizard in there as well, which means we got the classic art. The classic. Pokemon Red Art uh, Charizard, or I guess originally known as the CD promo art that was released back in like 1990... When did that, when that card come out? 1998, I want to say? 96? In that vicinity. I'm kind of mad that we never got that art in English. We should have, because it's like one of the best looking arts. There we go. We got the boy uh, Blastoise. Put this over here. Reaching into the box. Where is the next deck box? I feel a deck box! Is this it? Charizard! There it is! I, I think I'm going to have to replace the ones next to my desk. With this one, because this is actually what I have next to me. I have one uh, that I got from Konami a couple weeks ago. Um, there's nothing even in this. I just kind of have this next to my desk because of the art featuring Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. But look at that. Let's go ahead and crack this out just so we can have for the background um, beauty, the, the, the visual appeal of the video. There you go. All right, there you go. So we got uh, all three starters. Comment section below, what is the best star of all time between... Uh, you know what? Let's keep it simple. I know what the answer is for most of you guys. One of you is going to say Venusaur. A good percentage is going to say Blastoise. And the majority will say Charizard. But let me know in the comment section below what the best is for you. <coughs> Alright, back into the box. Let's see what else we got. We dig it in. We dig it in. We got... Let's go for this. Ooh, we, this is something. Uh, looks like a stack of cards, I want to say. It's a stack of cards. Let's see what kind of stack of cards we got over here. Let's see what we got. If I can open this up without actually uh, tearing into it or bending it. Pokemon Mystery Pack. Ooh, I like that. We're going to go ahead just for the uh, sake of this video. Move these out of the way. Here you go. You can hang out over here. Charizard, you know what? You can hang out here in the corner because this is the best boy over here. Let's see what we got. We got this Mystery Pack. Actually, Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Pack. Because we're actually, let's do the Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Pack first. So let's crack into it. The first thing we see, we got Jerry Beans, man. I'm gonna assume that this already has like a uh, um, what should I call it? like a card trick done. Can I open this? Probably can't. Why? Why does every YouTuber whenever do any kind of openings? They're struggling. It's because we try to keep it all on camera. I don't wanna, like move it out of the way. And it's like, oh, he moved it out of the frame. He clearly inserted whatever's in there just Bruh. because. Oh my god! I just thought it was in the back. I actually love that card a lot. <laughs> okay. Well, we got the the rare spoil, but that's fine. We got Jerry Beans Man, Powder Greed. We got ooh. Yo, wait a minute. <laughs> we got a starter deck Joey Red Eyes. That's a classic right there. Yo, hello? Come on, bro. Put this and we got Dark Magician as well? You tripping right now, Ruxin. You tripping. And then we got Burst Stream of Destruction in the background. What is this from? This is actually from <laughs> we, got the, yo, we got Blue Eyes. <laughs> Hold on. This is the... Oh, this is the original one from um, Ancient Sanctuary. I think that's where it came from. We got the classic. You know what's funny? I sent them a, 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 a Kaiba starter deck. So it's, it's funny. He sent me one back, basically. Put this in the back. Oh! Red Eye Slash Dragon. This one actually gives me a lot of bad memories from uh, Duel Links. Because when this ca card came out, it was so annoying to deal with this monster for a while. Then we got uh, Silent Swordsman. Let's go. Let's go. Put you in the back as well. And of course, the one and only Needle Worm from... Uh oh, this is... Wait a minute. Time out. This is a... Yo, this is a tournament pack. I thought this was. Like, I thought this was like one of those ones that came from like those collections. I absolutely love this card. So when I was a kid, I heard stories of a card that basically mills the top five of your, of your deck, and you couldn't pull it or anything. 
And I remember at the time, I wanted a Needleworm so badly. It had just come out. I'm talking about Tournament Pack 3. And I never could get it. So when I got older and came back to Pokemon in 2016 and also came back to Yu-Gi-Oh, the first thing I did is I bought a Tournament Pack 3 Needleworm, got it graded, came back as a PSA 9. Because you guys know, this card has horrible centering issues. But yeah, I love everything about this card. And the fact that I have a nice minty, I think this is one that he pulled from a pack fresh. That's that's dope. That's really dope. I I definitely got to get this graded. I definitely got to get this graded. All right, let's go ahead and put this in the back as well. All right, let's let's check out this Pokemon mystery pack. Let me not. Let me kind of like open this without revealing it because I don't want to spoil anything. This is dope though. This is definitely dope. Slide it out. Here we go. Let's just do it this way. Mystery Pokemon pack. Let's see what we got. All right, flip it. Let's do one at a time. All right, right off the bat, we see Pikachu from Jungle. Classic. Oh, my boy. Best starter of all time in first gen. It's funny. My favorite starter of all time actually is Totodile. But my favorite, favorite overall starter line is Charmander through Charizard. While uh, I, it's a close second, Croconaw is what keeps me away from having Feraligatr, Totodile, and Croconaw as my number one. Croconaw, I never liked the design of it, but Feraligatr looks dope. And Totodile, of course, is dope as hell. We got Bulbasaur. Squirtle? Ah, you mixed me. We got a base set to uh, Pikachu. There's the, oh, this War Turtle. That's also a dope one. Love to see it. Is that the... No, it's not. I know there's, a, there's an error version of War Turtle, right? Yeah, it would say... It would say... Uh, I forgot what the, what the error actually is. Then we got Ivysaur. That's dope. Followed by Charmeleon. Charizard! <laughs> Dark Flareon. And we got Dark Vaporeon. Jolteon! Oh, you mixed me. Why are you setting me up like this? And then we got Dragonite in the back. Money. Oh my god! Yo! <laughs> Ruxin, bro! Bro, bro, bro! I need you to calm down. <laughs> I need you to calm down. <laughs> Yo! Now, I don't know if, if, if Ruxin knows this, but I actually was in a bidding war to buy this card on uh, PWCC, and it was Randolph who bought this card. Right out of my feet! Like, neither of us knew, knew that we were bidding, you know, against each other. But, uh, it's funny, I lost it, and I messaged it, I was like, man, I was just now trying to buy this Rayquaza. And, um, and what's his face? Uh, Randall messaged me back and goes, I was the one who bought it. I'm like, bro! <laughs> That's funny. But that is dope. I love, uh, some of these E-Series cards. And this one is probably one of my more favorite EX cards that has ever come out. Ruxin, this is dope. This is super dope. That, that's awesome. That, that's a mystery pack right there. That's a mystery pack and a half. Actually, I got, look at that. I got this right next to me. This is going to get sleeved up right away. That's dope. That's dope. All right, let's go to crack this in here. And yeah, again, if you want to check out the box uh, that I sent to Ruxton, it's going to be in the description of this video. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, we got a couple more things. Oh, we got a decent amount of things. Hello? Oh, no way. No way. <laughs> no. Yo. Yo. The Sacred Cards was one of my favorite uh, Yu-Gi-Oh games of all time. That and Resha of Destruction, I actually loved a lot. And this is still sealed, and this is like completely sealed. As you can see, it's got the H team over here. Yo, this is dope. Ruxin. I'm mad he was like, it's nothing special inside a box. <laughs> you only just sent me my childhood, literally. You sent me my childhood in a box. What are you talking about? Put that over here. This, 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 this is me and Ruxin right here. You get to be Joey, though. Alright, let's go ahead and get the next one. Oh, I kind of peaked. We got a Salad Magician. As you know, Salad Magician is one of my favorite cards. So that's dope. Again, between Salad Magician and, and Dark Magician, girl, it's always an ongoing debate. It's like, which one is the better waifu? A lot of people are always going to pick Dark Magician, girl. But listen, man, if, if you if you truly woke, Salad Magician is the way to go. Let's grab into this. We got some packs now. Yeah, you know, we got to crack, crack open a pack or two. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this. Here we go. This is dope. This is why I want to do stuff like this again in the future. Unfortunately, we won't, probably won't do it again until probably next December. But if y'all if y'all enjoying these like mystery things, then uh, let me know. Light packs. Maybe we won't open these. We'll just hang on to these for like the seal collection. See, it's always nice to know. But let's see what we got. Let's see what kind of classic pieces of my childhood do we have over here. So right off the bat, we got uh, champion pack game one, two, three, uh, four, and turn and uh, champion pack five. I almost said tournament pack five. I'm I'm, since this is light, I'm not going to open these. But I will add it to my, to my seal collection because you guys already know, I do collect sealed uh, both Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon products. So this is definitely going to add on to that. That's dope. We got five of them. Let's go. And finally, we got a batch of packs. And it's, we're going to open these at least. We got to do some kind of opening in the video. I mean, as if we didn't already do an opening because these packs were actually really dope. 
guess it's actually slidies over here. There you go. Okay, let's see what we got out of here. Let's see what kind of goodies we got in this batch of packs. Again, Ruxin, <laughs> I'm mad you were all like, it's nothing special. <laughs> okay, as soon as I open it, this is already special. Maximum gold, so let's actually do this. We'll, we'll, we'll do it like this, because I, I don't want to see what's all here. We're just going to hop in one at a time, so we got maximum gold behind that. Hey, Ruxin, watch this. Remember that blue ice you didn't pull in our in our battle? Did you pull a blue ice? I don't remember. I'm about to pull right now. Watch this. Here we go. We got extra foolish burial. Uh, C101. Forbidden chalice. Watch this. Bam! Wait, over here. Bam! Zodiac Dryden's the first pack. Okay. Put this over here. Let's reach into the next one. So it's got another maximum gold behind it. I'm going to pull a blue eyes. I have a special ability that's known as the puller of blue eyes. And it's about to be its about to be really, really shown right now. Rocks and me watching. It's like, damn, I gave that pack to him. <laughs> Harpy's Feather Dust. That's actually a good one. I, this is another card from my childhood. I absolutely love this. Put you in the back. And then we got Droll and Lockbird, which is actually a good one as well. And then we got uh, Tuning and Dimensional Prison. I'm going to keep the Harpy's Feather Dust in the back. Because, again, it's one of my more favorite cards. Next pack. Got another maximum goal behind it. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna pull a blue eyes. It's gonna happen. And if it doesn't happen, it's because you didn't believe. So you, you gotta believe. Believe in your boy. Ooh, I love uh, Swordsman of Destruction. Is that what that is? Right? Buster Blader. Yeah, the Destruction Swordmaster. Any form of Buster Blader is also amongst my favorites as well. Wait, what's all the golds? Right here. Wait, right here. We got Inferno Mirage. And behind it, we got a number S39 Utopia the Lightning. I like how sometimes it is randomized where the gold cards actually are in the pack. Which is kind of wild to me. It, it keeps you in suspense, I, I gotta say. Oh, I recognize the packs in the back. <laughs> my heart stopped for a second. I mean, my heart is still stopping. Wait a minute. Yo, wait. Oh, yo, are you kidding me? This is kind of wild. You sent me first edition blue eyes packs? <laughs> okay. That, like I said, this is about to be an opening. Maybe we'll pull the blue eyes and those. Maybe you're gonna pull the blue eyes and nose. I'll never forget. I actually pulled the blue eyes um, out of like a mystery box and I gave it away to somebody as like a gift. And then all of a sudden that card blew up and I'm like, hey, hey grade that card though. Let me know what grade you get. <laughs> right, let's see what we got. We, we paid it forward so we can pull it right now. That's how karma works, right? Tachyon Transmigration. The Monarchs Erupts. Totally awesome. Followed by Blue Eyes. Anti Magic Hero. And Blue Eyes. Droll and Lockboard. We got actually a double. All right. Wow, this is about to be interesting. Okay, which one do we do? I kind of want to keep one of these sealed, to be honest. What do I do? You know, upon inspecting it, I feel like I should keep this one sealed and open this one because this one's all like crinkled up in the back. So let's go ahead and do that. Who am I kidding? I'm probably gonna open them both. We'll see how we feel. Let's pop into this and open up, uh, what is this, a Spanish version of uh, LB in first edition. Let's see if we get out of here. Ooh, that smell of, oh, this is kind of like actually bent in the front. The smell of vintage packs. Here we go. Panda Frenetico. We got uh, Silver Wolf. Uh, I forgot what it was called. Uh, I also forgot what it's called. The rare should be next, I believe. Ninja! <laughs> Arm Ninja. Okay. And then we got uh, Violet Crystal. Uh, Invader of Dark Abyss. I, for I forgot the names. It's funny. I've opened these packs so many times, and I've already forgot the names. You know what? I'm going to open this one as well. I feel like I have to for the culture, right? Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Everything in this video is going to get opened. Let's see what we got. Blue eyes time right now. This is it. I I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. You ready for this? Ah, Cherubin Knight. Is that what it's called? Yeah, something like that. Oh, that you know what? That was still dope. That was still pretty dope. Again, Ruxin, you killed it with this box. I don't know why you're all like, it's nothing special, bro. You literally sent me my childhood in a box. And you sent me these cards in the back as well. Like, are you kidding me? Pulled another Harper's Feather Duster, Feather Duster in gold. This was dope. If you enjoyed seeing this mystery uh, Christmas exchange, whatever we end up calling this in the future, hit that thumbs up. We'll do it again at some point. But for now, I'm happy. This was dope. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.